Hi fam! Welcome back to this weekend's reading vlog. I have a couple of 24-hour readathongs that I would like to do myself. Maybe have a few friends over on Twitter join me. I don't know just yet, but I know I definitely want to do it just to catch up on my books and my TBR and like really tackle them down for this month because I've gotten at least three books done, but none of those three books are on my TBR. Oops, but not oops. But I finally finished the ones that I started like ages ago and it just happened to be that I got it done this month instead. So here we go. <laughs> Alright fam, like I said, welcome back to this weekend's reading vlog, even though it's Wednesday. I'm gonna try to start them on Wednesday so that there's more footage. It might be a little long of a weekend reading vlog, but you know what? It's okay. At least I'm saying it's okay, so we're rolling with it, so that's good. Anyways, let me keep you updates on what I've been reading into. I'm still reading into Seven Blades in Black. I'm up to page 60, so I'm not too terribly far into it, but I plan on working on it during this weekend because I have another weekend off, and like I said, 24-hour readathons, that's the best way to kick her in the butt and get her mm, maybe halfway or at least up to 400 pages if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we're definitely going to try because I've been reading a little bit into this, but I've also been reading more of Little Ways Into Crooked Kingdom and I'm obsessed with the second book. I knew I would be like I was with the first one because it was just everything and Kaz and Waylon and Jasper in this one are everything. I can't wait till we get NG back and it's just oh. And so far for this one I am up to page 44 so I'm farther than page 16 which I originally was on so yay progress! We love good progress. But, like I said, I'm loving every minute of this world, and just, the uh, oh, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> no, it's not much, but it's something, trust me. Alright, and then, I also finally started the audiobook for Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. Because this is the second book in the Diviner series, and I finished that last month. So now I'm on to the second one, and I'm hoping to find the fourth book soon because I need that to complete my series and so I can binge read them until I'm done with them all. And then probably restart them. I don't know if it'll be this year, but maybe next year. We'll see. We'll see where we go. But for the Layer of Dreams, I am up to page 72, and they just started it today, so like I say, progress is always the best, or at least I think it's the best, but what can you do? Alright, and then another book I really want to get into this weekend is A Forest of a Thousand Lanterns because it is on my TBR and I do really need to read that. So I'm hoping to get started at least on this one. And this is also on my TBR, which is Blood Air. I originally started a little bit into it. I only got up to page two, so not very far. But I would love to get more into it. And I uh, did spray painted my edges red and did my own little blood drop on the ends. Kind of messed it up a little bit on the end, but you know what? I think it looks cool and unique and it's my own, so there's that fun detail. And I haven't listened to any more to Red Rising. I'm at, like still 11% in. Oops. But we will get there, fam. We will get there. I still have quite a other few books I need to get through. Plus my TBR. This month is going to be fun. We only have technically 29 days, but we're far into February already. And it's the 12th. Send help. I have two more weeks to get the rest of these books done. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need a couple 24-hour readathons. So basically, I'm doing a 48-hour readathon Friday and Saturday. Eh, technically, I can do it on Sunday too because I don't have to go to work Monday. Huh? I have most of the week off next week. You know what? We're gonna pull a couple of 24-hour readathons in there just so I can knock these books out of the park and out of the game and get some sleep while in that. And then that weekend, catch up on some shows. I think I might end up doing that because that's the only way I know how I could possibly tackle all of my books, or at least half of all these books besides listening to and physically reading, which I'm surprised I'm doing really good with both Crooked Kingdom and Seven Blades in Black, and like I said, I'm loving both of these worlds, and if you haven't read either one, please pick them up and try seeing if you like the first chapter, or the first two pages, because usually when I find a book, and I read the description and it sounds good, to test to see if I actually really like it before I buy it, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I do this. I will read the first page, and if I like the first page, and it sounds really good, and I'm hooked, I'll read a little bit of the second page, and if I really like it from there, then I'll actually get the book. That's actually kind of a good way to determine whether if you like the world or not. I know it's not too far into it, but if just those first two pages, and if it has you hooked, I'd say get it. If it doesn't have you hooked after you read the second page, and you're not liking it, don't get it. I know it sounds bad, but that's the best option I can give you right now. Because that's what I'm trying to do more of. And it's like, okay, I'm liking it. Love it. Yes. <laughs> but that's just my little, me my little method and my little tip to you guys. So hopefully that helps and works out too. So, yes. And I did a little rearranging over the weekend too, so let me show you what I did exactly. I moved the shelf again, put a little few more things on there. My desk is now there instead of my dresser. Hey! My dresser is right there. Nice! And then, oh goodness, my other shelf is right here, and just like it, my other little Funko People family, that's the Big Bang Theory. Alright, oh, and if you look close, Mia and Ashlyn, yay, love them. Oh goodness, please hold while I... Set the sand down and try to focus. And we back it up. Alright, that is all I've pretty much been up to. Reorganizing and changing things around a little bit because, you know, change is good every now and again if you want it, and so do it. So, yes. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow because I don't have anything else to update you on right now. But I'm going to probably jump into both Cricket Kingdom slash Seven Blades Black. Probably pick up this one because I've barely read into it today. I read more into Cricket Kingdom instead, but that's okay. They're both on my TBR, so it's good. In my book, it's good. So, we is going to do that. And I will update you sometime tomorrow night because I work and so forth. So there may be reading done till tomorrow night. There might not be. We don't know for sure, but that's the plan for right now. So I will see you guys again tomorrow night. Okay, okay, bye. Welcome back to Saturday night. Sorry, I couldn't really upload yesterday. I had a little cousin come over to watch on Valentine's Day, so I spent my afternoon and night with him until he went to bed. 
so there was that and I had to be quiet so I couldn't get too much done but I have a little bit of progress into Seven Blades in Black not much a little bit and then of course also in Cricut Kingdom so I've just been going back and forth between these two and I'll listen to a little bit more of Red Rising because I'm loving that reread and I want to get one of the little symbols of the Red Rising tattoo, so I don't know if that'll happen right away, but you know, eventually, sometime this year, because there's one tattoo, bookish tattoo that I've been wanting since like 2017 that I have yet to get, but I did post it over on Twitter and my Instagram, so if you're following me on either one of those, you know which ones I posted. But regardless, I am starting my 24 hour readathon now because I couldn't do it yesterday because, like I said, I had to be quiet so I could quite film it. But I am going to try and film a little bit of it tonight. And like I said, I did start a little bit before I started filming, so <laughs> oops, sorry, but not sorry. And yesterday, since it was Valentine's Day, I will show you a few books real quick before we get into this little reading thing that I got and just like, yes, some, I, one I didn't expect to find, well two, uh, well no, three I didn't actually expect to find, but I did, I bought them, so happy. So without further ado, I'll just show you those real quick and I will give a summary to them until my February book haul so that'll be coming to you guys shortly and my very late January wrap up I'm so sorry it's not up yet but you know small things at a time so let me be right back with those books because we all love a good book show at least I know I do There's one more that I got. Where is it and where did it go? Right from my face. Okay. So, the first book I'm going to talk about, I'm really excited I found the second one and I don't have to order it. And that means I can get through the first one very shortly because I'm in the middle of reading it. I haven't finished any more of it, but maybe this weekend and during next week. I can, but I found the book of Children of Ruin. This is the second one to Children of Time that I am currently reading. This is the one that's in outer space and it's definitely different and it's that got the spiders version and then it has the humans version and it goes back and forth between the two between the two of them and spiders is a little creepy. It's nothing like the Harry Potter spiders. They I mean they talk but they more of like observe and it's just different and unique and I'm still cringing because I'm not a huge fan of spiders like not at all they're just no <laughs> all right and then the other book that I've been looking around for too is the manga for Maximum Ride I finally found well, I found the first one, which has me excited, and I'm hoping to get the rest of the series, because I love the original books when I read it, like, back in 2017 or 16, something like that. Oh, I love Max. And I know they're having a new book coming out to that series. It's, like, kind of like a spin-off, and it's about Max and Fang's daughter. Spoiler alert, if you haven't read the very end of Nevermore. Or, no, not Nevermore. It's been so long since I've read that series. Oops. But it was the, no, the Maximum Ride Forever. That was the last book where they had their daughter. So, yes. That's it. Took me a minute, but I know what I mean now. <laughs> so, the book Hawk comes out in July. I'm kind of scared and also like, why is there another Maximum? Why? But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> I, I need it, like, mm, I have no room, but <laughs> I need it. Maybe eventually the original flock will come back into the series, and maybe we'll see what happened to them. Like, 
especially Max, like she was your not your typical original 14 year old and just like mm, what happened to her like oh why so hopefully that book gives us answers if it doesn't give us answers why james patterson why okay moving on from my little small rants about maximum red i picked up a little um novella to truth witch series and that is Sight Witch, and now I can binge read the series, and then I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think book four, possibly, is coming out this year, and if that's true, I definitely need to get a move on to the series. I've kind of heard good things, but I also haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about Truth Witch, but it has the witches in it, and I kind of like witches, so... I'm definitely going to be checking that out soon. And then I got one of these new books. Well, new to me. It's called Far Away From You. And it's got like Christmas lights kind of on the cover. Not that it has anything to do with Christmas really. But we'll get more into details on this one and my February wrap up. So stick tuned for the those few things. So I'm going to put these back and then we're going to jump back into the 24-hour read-along. Hey! Like I said, we don't know why we're like this, we're just like this. And that's the way I like it. I think. <laughs> don't know, but that's what we're gonna go with. Make it a drink. That's good. Okay, now since I'm really behind on Seven Blades in Black, because I have a little chart of where we're supposed to be in the book and I'm not even, I'm so not there. Let's see, where am I supposed to be? Wrong picture! As long as it can load. Okay, it was supposed to be up to uh, chapter 41. <laughs> I'm on chapter 8. It's okay. We, I try to follow this thing, but you know what? We do what we do, but hopefully reading this tonight and hopefully do another read-a-thong Monday night. So maybe I'll drag this video into Monday because I didn't get enough footage from... I didn't get anything from Thursday or Friday, so... We might just end up doing that, just to make it a little bit longer. Because why not? Answering a text message I didn't know went through. Or came through. Wow. Went through. Alright. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to listen to more of my Red Rising. I am now 15% of the way through. No longer on 11 anymore, but it's due in three days. Renewed my Layer of Dreams. I have a couple of books that are due back either in four days or in five. Oh, and I finally got the audiobook for The Starless Sea, and I think I'm going to start that very, very soon. Okay. Answer that, but that'll probably come right back again. <laughs> Might be a little hyper. Might not be. I love this part in the Seven Blades of Black. I'm not going to get too much away into it, the part that I like, but... <clears throat> now, it's not certainly not true for every woman, but the ones I have... <coughs> sorry. Have had the good fortune to know in my life have all followed this rule. 
If you need a favor, you bring her flowers. If you need her forgiveness, you bring her jewelry. And if you need both, you bring her a book. Um, bring me a book, please. But also, what do you want? Uh, only style. Chapter 8. <coughs> Let go. If it were possible to make love to books, I would. <laughs> yes! Okay. Ooh, I like that line. I have a little laugh in my bath. Sorry, sleepy people. I'm, I'm sorry. Oops. I love the second character in this book. Sorry. I love the second character in this book. I'm trying not to be too loud now, but, um, yes.
Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more reading into Seven Blades in Black, and I will check back in like maybe around two o'clock to see exactly where we are at. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Okay, goodbye! Okay fam, it's a little after 2.30 and I am up to page 89 in my book, which is chapter 10. And I am still obsessed with this. And the style is definitely my uh, favorite and the Freemaker. I absolutely love the Freemaker and the fact that Sal was talking about how many books this Freemaker owned and just like, mm, can I have your store with your rooms filled and filled with the books? Because that, that is technically me and all of us, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is lay down for to go to bed and read a little bit more into Seven Blades in Black and I'll try to wake up around 9.40 close to 10 and try to get back into more of Seven Blades in Black and also pick up more of Crooked Kingdom. I still need to pick up the rest of the books on my TBR as well. We'll get there between this weekend and next week and maybe next weekend as well. Oh, we shall see, but so far I, like I keep saying, I'm loving Seven Blades in Black and of course Crooked Kingdom. Excuse me, but it is really good and I can't wait to dive back more into this world before I go to bed. So we'll see what kind of dreams I guess I have, but definitely check this out. It is a science fiction, and it's just, in the magic system that's kind of into it, it's just, I just, I love the world, and I can't wait to get book two when it comes out. Hopefully you don't have to wait forever, because we don't like cliffhangers, but we might be on one for a while. It, it'll be worth it, hopefully, so. Alright, I'm gonna go do that, and I will see you guys in the morning if I remember to record, which I shall, but... You, you get it. But anyway, until tomorrow mid-morning fam, I will see you all then. Goodbye! Uh, hello fam! I know I said I was going to update around 4, but it's actually almost 6 now. It took a little bit of a break in between. But for Seven Blades in Black, I am finally up to chapter 13, which leaves me off at 115. So I'm going to put this one down for now and pick up another book to read into for a little bit so I don't get burned out too quickly, if that makes sense. So we're going to set this one aside, and I really also need to pick up Force of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dio. This is also a group pickup book for one of my uh, group book clubs. That didn't come out right. It's to the spookable spook. I cannot. Words are hard. Wow. Okay. It's to a book club pick that I am a part of, and this is our group book for the month. That came out better than the first two times I was trying to see. My bad, but that's how it happens sometimes. But I've had this on my shelf since like 2018, and now I'm finally getting around to it. Um, all I know about this one is that it's a Asian fantasy, and that's all I really want to know before going into it. And looks like some of the words are a little bit difficult to say, but I did notice when I originally opened up the book to look, they have a glossary page on the inside of the cast of the characters, so you can figure out a way how to say them, and I love that in books. I think books that have unique names that you're not exactly sure how to pronounce should be 
there either the I like it in the very front. I don't like it in the very back because then you have to go go back and forth and like try to figure out like the language and how to say the name and everything. But like when it's right there in the front before you read it, that's a little better. I in I think in my opinion, but it could be wrong. But I love it in the front instead of in the back because there's just it brings value, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I really like that fact in this book. So, I don't know if we're going to predict maybe a 4.5 for this book or a 5 out of 5. We don't know yet. But I want to try to get 50 pages into this tonight and then read more again tomorrow because I don't have anything to do except for maybe grocery shopping and... I have some free time this week to read until Wednesday and Thursday and I have another weekend off. So we're going to be getting a lot of reading done. My brain at the end of the month is going to be dead. Just kidding. Totally kidding. But it's a lot of good books that I want to try to read so you know we love that for this channel. So. I'm going to go back into reading. Like you said, I want to try to get into 50 pages of this tonight. Maybe check in once I hit that 50 page mark and discuss what I think of it so far. Because I like to have like more thoughts after I hit the page 50 mark to see then if I really like it. And if I do really like it, I'll continue. If I don't like it, that's when I'm like, <laughs> drop. Oh, we don't care. But... We don't know just yet, so I just marked it that I'm reading it on my Goodreads, so please be good, you sound good, like, mm, be good, minus the little flower and, and the snake on the cover. Ugh. Anyway, we don't like snakes either. <laughs> but we're going to give this a bad a boy a try, and we'll be back in a little bit, so. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye. See the cover. Okay, okay, bye. Good afternoon, fam. I'm back. <laughs> Taking a little bit of time to wake up some so I can still continue my 24 hour read along that I'm doing until midnight tonight. And so far, I've gotten up to page 93 now in Seven Blades of Black, and I still stand with liking Sal, and then the girl that she's talking to in her cell, Jail Tretta, she is a very spicy little, little guard person that she, commander, or can't remember exactly what she is at the moment, but she's important person in the story. Let me see exactly what she is. Oh, she's a governor militant. Okay, so like I said, she's a very important person in the book in the very beginning because she's interviewing Sal and exactly why she ended up in this prison that she did. And so far we're up to the seven names that she's gotten. And, um, hopefully we get to see her go after these seven people, or at least figure out where in the middle she got caught and thrown in jail. But, uh, <laughs> like I said, so far it's really, really good, and I want to try to get up to uh, maybe 4.30 if I can tonight or today, and then read more into... Uh, Cricket Kingdom because I'm also loving this world as well and listen to more of Red Rising because I am 15% the way through and a few other books I want to start slash read or listen to so there's these fun things that I want to try to get more into today and a few other books as well. So, oh, we're going to do that. We're going to focus a little bit more on Seven Blades and Black just so we're caught up to where... I need to be because it so there's that fun detail <laughs> but anyway other than that 
reading wise is going good and this video is going to be all over the place but hey that's okay anyway I like I said I'm going to go back into reading more of Seven Blades in Black for a little bit and then go to Crooked Kingdom and then I want to re start reading Blood Air because it sounds really really good and I've been seeing it everywhere and it's been calling my name for a little while so there's that as well and I really need to read or reread my Wolfbane book by Andrea Kramer if you remember some of my vlogs from last month I read Nightshade again and it's I just miss this world so much and it's been forever but this one I believe okay so this book is just under 390 pages so I could probably squeeze a little ways into this book I just remember really liking the second one and then the third one a, a lot and I know one of the characters I think he either dies in the second one or he dies in the third one I can't remember for sure since it's been so long but um, I really want to say it's at the end of this one I could be totally wrong but I guess I'll keep you guys updated but oh werewolves <clears throat> I did not just howl but I did <laughs> all right I'm gonna go get into some reading and try to stop howling because oh, we don't need that but anyway I will catch you guys in a little bit I'll try to check in like around four to see how things are going if I get distracted from time to time to take a little bit of a reading break because we like reading breaks but we need to focus and try to get some of the reading done okay okay I'll see you guys in a bit bye hey fam it is still Sunday night and I have a little bit of an update well it's almost <laughs> Monday but it's close to midnight so we're still doing this 24 hour readathon that that's gonna end up turning into a 48 hour readathon and um, I'm okay with that because I have a couple of books that I would like to get done so first things first I have been listening to a little bit more of Red Rising because I had a little bit of a headache earlier so I kind of like stopped reading for a little bit and just kind of played on social media because that ha tends to happen but anyway like I said I started listening to more of my Red Rising reread and I am loving it and I want a tattoo of, uh, of that little guy I don't know if you can really see it but it's of the little circle and the two little arrows and then that exact color hoping to get that sometime as soon because I want two more small tattoos anyway moving back to books I am 26% into my Red Rising reread and I am up to chapter 14 so I love that and I'm back into the transformation where Darrow had to go through uh, Remember guys, if you've read Red Rising, you gotta remember, Darrow was never technically gold. They made him into a gold. That I remembered, but like the process that he had to go through to become a gold. Wow. <laughs> that poor kid goes through a lot after his wife has died for seeing a song like, what? That is brutal, but he's doing everything that he can to have her dream come true, so it's, it's, it's precious. I love Red Rising. If you haven't read Red Rising yet, why? Where have you been, my friends? Please read Red Rising and Nightshade. I love the Nightshade series. <sighs> okay, moving on. Even though I don't want to, but we gotta. I started a little ways into A Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. 
day, day, that. <clears throat> We're not going to even try to say the last name right now because it's being difficult and I don't want to. But, um, the first 11 pages in, so far I know is I don't like the ant. I'm not sure how I feel about the main character. The, uh, oh, what do they call it? She's kind of like their hired help. Let me see what word they use for it because I don't want to butcher that. Okay, she's basically just called the hired girl that they have helped them. But, um, she's kind of quiet. She's more like a side character and she's the hired help as well. But, <clears throat> I really don't like the ants. And like I said, I'm only 11 pages in, and this is what I'm finding out. I don't like the ants. I don't really know if I care for the lover just yet in this. He seems, mm, I don't know. No, Zuri, nobody said you. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? No, because I didn't say you. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Zuri always has to put in her his two cents. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about the lover in this one, but mm, we're only 11 pages in, and the beginning really slow. Oh. Like, I haven't heard a whole lot of people talking about this book yet either, and it's a group book pick for one of the, for one of the book clubs that I'm a co-host to. I want to try to power through it, but at the same time, I don't know. Uh, usually I can tell if I like the book by page 50, or if I started from the beginning, of the book and like I'm instantly hooked I don't want to put it down this since I tried it earlier this afternoon and got up to like about 11 pages I have picked it back up since <laughs> oops but I don't know we'll try it again and maybe a little here shortly but so far me and this book ain't really connecting I've had it on my shelf since like 2018 or something I haven't seen something like that, but, um, I mean, it sounds interesting. It's a high East of Asian fantasy, like I said earlier, that's all I really know about this book. It sounds like it would be good and interesting. I don't know, maybe I just need to push past page 50 and see what we think, and if I don't like it from there then I might just end up DNFing this book. I don't really want to, but right now it's just not sitting well with me and that's kind of sad and I don't like that. But we're gonna give it a try, see where we are, like on page 30, 40, 50-ish, and see. So I guess stay tuned for this long 48 hour readathon that I turned this into. Oops, but also you're welcome because I didn't get enough footage Friday or Thursday, so we're making up for that. That's what we're doing. So, hope you guys enjoy this really long vlog. I don't know if it's long yet, but it probably is. My bad, but you know what? We're rolling with this clip. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get more into this, but right now I kind of really want to push my way through Red Rising and get up to like chapter 3. 30 maybe and then maybe we'll pick up the forest of a thousand lanterns or I might pick up more of uh, Crooked Kingdom because I am really enjoying that and I do need to pick up the rest of my TBR books like I also need to pick up more of the power of six I did get the audiobook for the star of the sea that I want to listen to and the Guinevere Deception, I got the audiobook for, so I might try a few audiobooks as well during this readathon. 
because that will get me through more books and we like that on this channel like I keep saying. So we is going to get into some reading. Hopefully I will start this this week because I only have this week and next week to get my books done. Not that I'm on a time crunch, but kind of am. So this is what we're working with. We is gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm gonna go back into Red Rising and then let's see where we go from there. Who knows? My next clip might be of me talking about the power of six. Well, we don't know yet. But we'll check hopefully back in later if I don't forget to vlog because I tend to do that and uh, sorry guys but I will see you again in a little bit goodbye for now hi fam oh welcome back I am gonna be closing out my weekend of reading vlog even though we're way into Tuesday oops Okay, so for Sunday, I didn't get a whole lot of reading done, but I got a whole lot of listening in because it was like a rainy day, and usually rainy days kind of give me headaches, so couldn't really physically read anything, which was kind of sad, but made up an excuse to catch up on some of the shows I've been really behind on, and I'm caught up on most of them, so that was that. But for Red Rising, I am on page... I'm finally up to chapter 31. I'm fairly close to the end. I have, I believe it goes until 400. I was gonna say maybe like around 300, 400, but 400. So I have like over half of that left to go and I can try to finish it between tonight and early tomorrow morning, maybe, because the audiobook is due back tomorrow when I got stuff going on tomorrow anyway but I am loving this reread I'm still wanting this little circle arrow tattoo it's definitely gonna happen I don't know when but you know eventually all right I haven't read <laughs> more into Crooked King y'all see that that book bookmark almost about attacked me in the eye okay but I have made it up to page 52 and I will get more into it soon because I have this week and next week to hopefully get this almost close to finishing. And then for Seven Blades and Black, I got up to page 115 and so far for me that's really good. So. We love that here. Alright, and that's pretty much all I read over the weekend. Hoping to read a little more during this week and the weekend again into like next week because that's it for February and then I need to do other videos but we'll get into that later. So if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss further videos from me and I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, I gotta oh, I don't want to sneeze. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my new one soon and wherever you are in the world hope you're having a good day and night and of course get some unexpected reading in there because mm, why not and hopefully I'll see you soon with another video. I don't know what this is but I'll see you guys next time. Bye!